Nikola Jokic is the undisputed best player in the world. The Bill Simmons podcast is our background here. Now, what I, what I really want to talk about this video is the disrespect that Nikola Jokic has got going into the playoffs, the MVP vote, and a bigger conversation about how sports media is treating uh, players or, or even, even just the game. So let's go ahead and let Bill lead us into this. Hold on, yeah. can I give you another one? Yeah. It's a, it's a way because you criticize, you know, you got to give jokers flowers, but you have to make it a little bit debatable. Oh. So I'm going to, I'm going to use the word undeniably is joker undeniably the best player in the world. Yes. I mean, it honestly, it's not even close. And it's one of those things where it sounds like it's a knee jerk reaction because of how he's playing in the finals right now. I mean, the last game he had 30, 20 and 10, it's easy for him. I think he's had a triple-double in six of the last eight playoff games. He's dragging the Nuggets to the one seed, the finals, within a couple wins of the of the final of the actual championship. Drugged them last year uh, when Murray was hurt. Two-time MVP. Should be the MVP this year. Should have been back-to-back-to-back to back to back MVP with possibly a finals win. When you look at all that stuff, it's crazy that... Going into the, this playoffs, Mike Greenberg from ESPN said, you know, the country will will be introduced to Nikola Jokic. Mark Jackson, the announcer for the finals, did not have Jokic on his MVP ballot. Wasn't even on the ballot. It wasn't like, oh yeah, it might be Jokic, might be Embiid. He just straight up forgot him. It's obvious, and we've talked about this a little bit before, but it's obvious that people who cover this sport are not watching the two-time MVP and best player in the world. It's embarrassing, and it's getting worse by the day. It's getting worse by the game that he's not the MVP. It's getting worse by the game that Joel Embiid has that MVP trophy. It's, it's, one, of those, it's one of the worst black eyes I've seen for sports media or, or a specific sports media So in this case, NBA media, the fact that they let this happen is, I I mean, it's honestly, it sounds dramatic, but it's, it's, it's hard to, it's hard to believe. It really is. I mean, it's almost like if, if we had a West coast quarterback, well, I guess it is like this. If there was a quarterback playing for the Cardinals, who was a two time MVP, right? Let, let his team to a Super Bowl. And players are like, our media is like, yeah, we, we get to finally watch this guy play. Like, well, what have y'all been doing for three years? A hundred percent, not one vote out of the, you get a hundred votes. Are you putting all of your chips on the best player in the world roulette table on Joker? All of them. I mean, this is why Wilds is Wilds. That's first of all, great idea. I, I, you can also have it tomorrow. For imagine your if show. he was awake. Imagine if it. he was awake too. If he was awake, you'd have. I'd be crushing. Audience. Yeah, he'd be I'd be crushing. Awake Wilds would have come up with that five minutes ago, but even <laughs> yeah, even half conscious, asleep Wilds finally came wilds. up with it. So I think this is actually this is almost a turn the camera on Kyle. Even though we don't have Kyle today, we have Craig. Ugh. I think it's actually undisputed that he's the best player in the world now. It is. That's wild. Like think about that. Think about what we're talking about here that Nikola Jokic is the undisputed best player in the world, according to Bill Simmons, who obviously lives and breathes the NBA, lives and breathes basketball. Undisputed best player. And the guy calling the finals did not have him in the top five of his MVP ballot. That's nuts. Think about that. Is there a chance that someone would forget Steph Curry? Is there a chance someone would just leave Patrick Mahomes off of the ballot? No. This is the issue, I think, with sports media. I think this is why this has happened. is because everyone is so focused on these narratives. Everyone is so focused on the name player, what, what they're like off the field, their Instagram, their, their social media, what they're wearing to the game, who they're dating, their reach, their you know individual enterprise, Draymond Green's podcast, who's got a podcast, who's got YouTube clips, who's got this, who's got that, who's at the Met Gala. That's what current major sports media is focused on. And then you have a guy like Nikola Jokic, 
who doesn't do any of that. And he's not and he's a, a foreign player. So his reach is even kind of kind of misunderstood because it, you, you can't tell how big he is, you know, not in America when the majority of what I'm talking about is American uh, sports media. But Jokic, who doesn't do any social media, who, who doesn't is not going to the Met Gala, isn't marketed, you know, isn't doing major uh, promotional deals, isn't on ads, doesn't have his own podcast, isn't doing Twitch streaming him playing Call of Duty. He doesn't have Fortnite clips all over the place. All he does, all he does is play basketball at the absolute highest level. And that's not good enough for people who cover the sport. They don't, they don't watch these games. And he plays for the Nuggets. So he's not in New York. He's not, you know, he's not in Los Angeles. He's not on these teams that, that people just watch. It proves that the majority of the meet, sports media, NBA media, does not watch the games. They just talk about John Morant. They talk about Kyrie Irving. They talk about LeBron. They talk about the Warriors. And they call it a day. You know, that, that's all they do. Because mm. even the bad Jokic game is like a 20, 12, and 9. Right? And a game like today where it's like this would be if basically any other player in the league other than, you know, LeBron in his prime or whatever, if somebody just casually threw up the 32, 21, 9, or 10, people would lose their minds. Like if Jason Tatum did that, I would be like telling my grandkids, oh my God, this game Jason Tatum had. But Joker, we're not even surprised anymore. So for me, I just feel like he's consistently so good game after game with the ceiling of, you know, supreme, that to me, he's the number one guy now. Yeah, I agree. It, impossible to disagree with that, but I would say that you can have the conversation, especially about Giannis and Kevin Durant. Like, I, I, I agree. I think Jokic is the I best player this on Durant the planet. Durant ship sailed. But see, that that's exactly what I'm talking about. Exactly what I'm talking about. People still hold on to this, like, oh, it's Kevin Durant. In in a in a ten minute vacuum, he can be as talented as anybody in the world. Sure, but what over the last couple of years? Should, would, would make you even bring up Kevin Durant in the conversation of what Jokic has done. Jokic, who is, again, should be MVP, MVP, MVP. Three-peat. In about a week, we're going to be talking about him having a finals win. He's going to drug this Nuggets team from obscurity to their first championship in their franchise history. What in the world would the first thing he thinks of is Kevin Durant? It's almost like they're supposed to. It's almost like it, it's almost like when people are like, "Who's the greatest rock band of all time?" and they just randomly say like the Beatles or the Rolling Stones. It's like, well, I think I'm supposed to say that. I don't listen to any of their music, but I think people are supposed to say the Rolling Stones are a top three. Led Zeppelin, you know, pe people who have never listened to that music. It's just like, oh, I have to say this. You know, greatest singer of all time. I have to say Aretha Franklin, even though I have no idea. That's just what I think I have to say. So people are so used to the same characters in the NBA. They're so used to, I have to say Kevin Durant, I have to say Giannis, I have to say Steph Curry. There are people who probably would put Luka above Jokic because they're like, oh yeah, Luka's kind of a household name. Oh yeah, kind of. And then you look at what Luka's done, it's like, it doesn't even compare. Like Bill said, if Jason Tatum was doing what Jokic was doing, people would be anointing him, the next Kobe Bryant, the next this, the next that. We haven't heard any of that with Jokic at, at, at all. No, I disagree. <clears throat> no. Oh, I think, I, that I, think... I think that ship's done. He's, he's <sighs> too old and too banged up now. Yeah, what's Durant? Third, uh, I mean, mid-30s? Cannot play a full season? Durant, I, I'm, again, I'm agreeing with Bill here. The whole like Kevin Durant thing, he is a piece that can certainly catch fire, and he is really good. But the idea that he's the best player in the world, yeah, that's over. That, that, that's over. Can he be the best player in the world for 10 games? Sure. But can he be the best player in the world for... It's just like the Kawhi stuff. I said this before on this channel. But the idea that Kawhi is like build a franchise around, you know, day in, day out, MVP level guy, that, that's, it's over. He, he plays 40 games a year. It's not the case anymore. He's almost like a closer. Can, can he win you a playoff series? Sure. Can Durant win a couple a playoff series or two? Sure. 
but he's not a build the franchise around him. He's the guy. He's the MVP. It, it has sailed. Honestly, it's the same. It's almost the same with LeBron, where LeBron is at this age now where is you know, he's obviously not prime LeBron. He can still give you a 40-point triple-double, but to expect him to carry a team for an entire season the way he did in Cleveland or in Miami, it's not the case anymore. Other players are doing that. It's time to, as they say, give other players their flowers. And it's insane that I'm advocating to give a guy his flowers who has two MVPs. He's the top eight guy, but I I don't, he's not in the conversation for me anymore. It's, I I was thinking Giannis when you were speaking, but then you said he had a 32, 20 and 10 game. And I just, I can't imagine a world in which Giannis does that. I would have Curry would be Curry's the only other guy for me that is allowed to be in the combo. So do you think there's any recency bias because we literally watched the game a half hour ago when, uh, I'm gonna let him finish. And Giannis had a closeout game of 50 and 14, and yeah. averaged 35, 13, and five to win Finals MVP. And it's then two, two years later, we're like, nope, sorry, you held the title belt for mm. 18 months, but now it's Jokers. Great point. Giannis had it two years ago. He had it last year, and I think Jokic took it this year because the the last thing Jokic had to do was do this at the highest stage, which he's now yeah. done. And I have no. Qu- I agree. I think once what Jokic has done this entire playoffs and what he continues to do in the finals, that, that is like the, the final conversation piece, you know, that, that is because now it separates him from the Lucas. It separates him from the Durant's. It separates him from all those players where now like Luca, Luca is, is closer to Trey young than he is now to, to Jokic because Jokic is doing this with ease at the absolute highest level he is doing whatever he wants and has done whatever he's wanted for the last couple months of the, of the playoffs he he is whereas someone like you luca is or you know even joel Embiid, joel Embiid completely vanished in the playoffs for the sixers completely vanished so how can you compare Jokic and Embiid? one of them is the mvp and it's a disgrace. Questions left. Okay. And he also, against Davis and LeBron, swept them and laid it to them in a way that he just couldn't do a couple years ago in the bubble, right? In the bubble, that was a different matchup. A little right, younger on, LeBron, you- healthier Davis, but still. Can I give you another one, Bill? Oh, so Rudy's asking me, is Jokic number one in the trade value rankings now? Ooh. I think 100% absolutely, yes. yes. You were not trading him for anybody. Anybody on the planet. Yeah, I, yeah, I think before it was Giannis, Luka, and Jokic three, and now I think it's a flip. Because the thing with Jokic is I just don't see any reason this can't go on at this level for like five, six more years. What's he, he's going to lose speed? <laughs> I was about to say, was he going to lose speed in athleticism? <laughs> it's, it's, okay. He's just not. Like Bird, Bird, his body just broke down, right? But he was also. Yeah, Larry Bird could barely even sit up. His back was so bad at the end there that he had to lay down on the, on the side. He couldn't even sit in the chair. He had to lay on the ground older when he came into the league. So he was like probably 32, 33 when he really started breaking down and Dirk really all the way through maybe 2012, the same kind of like weird kind of body, but he started to slow down a little bit, but he was in his early thirties too. I I think at least three, four more years while it's for Mm -hmm. Jokic at this level. I don't, I don't see why he wouldn't. I'm buying that. I bet he becomes a better shooter too. Um, the other Probably. question I would have for you, if we're still playing this game, yeah, let's is ready to call Jamal Murray a superstar. Interesting question. We're gonna we'll we'll that's that'll be a video for a different day. We're gonna stick on the Jokic thing, but it's just very interesting. This is one of those things that sports, you know, sports is unpredictable. Sports gives you these kind of paradoxes all the time, but at a time where it has never been more important for an athlete to have their own independent brand like i said their own tiktok their own clips their own social media team their own you know whatever to date celebrities to be at met galas and events and host saturday night live and and you know be on all these different commercials and and whatever else it's crazy that as that's happening sports gives us this riddle in Nikola jokic 
who doesn't look the part, you know, do, doesn't play the part as far as doing all that stuff, but he is unquestionably the best. So what do you do? And currently we've got our answer. The answer is ignore it, which is kind of funny. The answer is totally ignore it. And we may be at a turning point with this kind of stuff where ESPN or ABC or Disney or whoever, they're going to have to look their announcers in the face, their analysts, their everybody, and say, how did we miss this? I'm, I'm honestly kind of surprised Mark Jackson is calling the finals. I have watched every finals game, and every single game is hard for me to listen to it because I'm thinking the guy that's calling this game left the best player in the world. He forgot him. He left him off his ballot. And I'm supposed to trust his insight covering these games. It, it, has, it has soured the, the broadcast for me. It, it, it is. And it, it, it's insane. It's the same. We had a conversation about this with Tony Romo uh, during last year's CBS game, where it almost felt disrespectful that Romo didn't know who the players were, didn't know anything about the teams, was obviously not watching the games that he wasn't calling. And to me, it was like, I'm, I'm going to mute this because it's, it's so obvious that these people are just kind of walking through the motions. And there's a million other people who can actually give you analysis. And I think at some point, the fans are going to push back on this. They're going to push back on, or they're going to hold these people accountable. They're going to hold the voters accountable. They're going to hold analysts accountable. You know, for Mike Greenberg, again, to say, the world will be introduced to Nikola Jokic. He's a two-time MVP. Where have y'all been? What have y'all been doing? What's going on? Let me know in the comments what you think, ladies and gentlemen, uh, with Jokic or just kind of the, the MVP situation with him or, or any of that stuff. Or if you think he's the undisputed best player in the world, let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. I will see you on the next video.